Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel, and today I'll be reading a multi-character listener by me. So let's get into it. Tengen. Tengen really, well, he was a flirt. He would probably buy you laundry if you wanted to. But this happened when the two of you first started dating. So you were not even that close if you wanted to buy you something as scandalous as that. So when you opened the gift, no wonder he threw the box in his face. Tengen, what the hell is that? Seriously, can you be a little bit more, I don't know, less perverted? Honey, I don't know what you're talking about. And then, off in the box, he saw it was a gift for someone else. A gift for one of his wives that he had accidentally given to you. He apologized a lot, and though you were a blushing mess, he kept laughing about it and teasing you. Explaining it, and you forgave him, telling him it's fine, as long as he makes it up to you, with taking you out to dinner. And that was not too hard of a task to do. And he took you to the fanciest place, being the flashy, lovely man that he is. And of course, as he's someone who always wants you to be happy with a smile on your face. Oh, but I... Oh, but I really didn't mean to make things a mess. But he really did not know how to pick clothes, like, at all. So he had no idea that he was even picking from the laundry section. And then, when the two of you were out on a date, he gave the box to you, telling you that he'd bought you a black dress. And when you opened it, it blushed brightly. Oh, but I, isn't this a little bit too early for this? And he tells his head at you, telling you that it dresses a normal gift. And that's when he figured out that he had no idea what he was doing. So, you saved him the future embarrassment of doing anything similar like that. And explained to him what laundry meant, and what it was, and how you can actually pick appropriate clothing. It wasn't like he expected you to wear this in front of anyone else. Maybe he had been a little bit too rash, and maybe it wasn't an appropriate decision. But still, you weren't really upset with him. In fact, he thought it was quite adorable, considering how much he had blush after he was told. Rengaku? Now, Rengaku is an absolute sweetheart, but even he has his manners. He had ordered something from a tailor. And apparently it got mixed with something else. He didn't open it. Because he trusted them. Usually they never messed up his orders. And when he sent it out to you, he didn't expect it to be a lingerie. He had no idea. And when he started lushing around them more often, hinting at some things, he didn't truly really understand. That's when he started pouting and telling him that he was just messing with your heart. Buying your laundry and then acting like nothing happened. And that's how the situation was explained. It was kind of funny at last. But you decided to keep it. And as her original dress, he went to fetch it. And paid extra just to let you keep that piece. And it may come in use later on. You would never know. But it was still something funny to think about. Every now and then. And he teased you a lot about it. However, it was quite fair when you teased him back. Michiro? Michiro seriously had no idea. That was when the two of you were 18. And it was his first time going to a woman's store. Trying to pick a suitable gift. And accidentally he had picked your laundry. Maybe because he had no idea. And he was just picking by color, rather than looks. It wasn't that he was shallow. But the way other ladies were looking at him, it made him self-conscious, and he wanted to leave quickly, and that's why he had messed up and got in the gift. And we had gone at you. You were blushing brightly. Um, wait, you know, I think maybe you should have chosen something a little bit more appropriate. He tilted his head. Not really understanding. Isn't it just a dress? Does it truly really matter? Um, I 
think it does. It's lingerie, Michiro, he said with a more serious tone. And he still had no idea what that meant either. That's when he knew you had an innocent baby being in your hands. And there were some things he had to be enlightened on. And you were more than willing to do him the favor, if to save him from further embarrassment in front of anyone else. You, much like unlucky Rengaku here, the male had gotten mixed up with someone else. And apparently it was still mailing their wife a laundry set. And had gotten to you instead of Gyu's. And that's how the mess happened. Gyu, can you please explain why you sent me this? You held it out to him. And his face flushed. I, I have no idea what you're talking about, Wyon. I didn't send this. Well, it had your name on it. I'm pretty sure it was you. But then he shook his head. And he tried to tell you what he was sending through the mail. But eventually the TV figured out it was probably some mismatch or some mistake that happened there. And you laughed at his expression then. The way he got so flustered and shy when he was accused. Giving him a little kiss on the cheek. You're adorable, Gyu. I don't think it's such a bad gift, after all. Maybe I'll make use of it. Why on? Enough teasing. Oh, but it would never be enough for you. Sanami? Sanami had no idea how this happened. He was sure he picked the dress. He was quite sure. Certain. Maybe he had bought two. Maybe he had bought a laundry set and a dress. The laundry set, maybe. But if you got married, they never meant to mail it now. But somehow, that's what you got. And now he was a flustered mess, and he was trying so hard to keep up that hard exterior that he always did. I don't care what you're saying. I, I would never send anything like that. But, Sanami, it's here. In my hand. Well, I never bought it. You look like you're a liar, Sanami. He said. And he blushed brighter. Only confirming your suspicions. Making you burst out into a fit of laughter. Hey, it's time to know that you fancy me so much. I don't... Fine. But don't mention it too much. Oh, about mentioning it. You do. A lot. He's almost sick of being flustered so much. But the only thing that makes it bearable for him is hearing your laugh. <laughs>